in the last video we finished here we plotted the asymptote which is this is this is let us write the equation y is equal to plus two third x and this asymptote is y is equal to negative two third x so that's the first thing that we do so now we have to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept if there are okay so let us now look at the x-intercept okay so let me scroll up so you should be knowing x-intercept is when y is equal to zero okay so let me write the equation so we got the equation is x squared over 9 minus y squared over 4 is equal to 0 so you're setting x is equal to sorry y is equal to 0 so this is x squared over 9 minus 0 squared over 4 is equal to 0 this implies x squared over 9 is equal to zero that means this is zero so now I'm going to multiply both sides by nine so x squared uh, is equal to one sorry this is one here yes always good to be careful so this is one this is one so this is one so if you multiply both sides by nine so you're getting x squared is equal to nine and if x squared is equal to nine x is equal to plus or minus 3. These are the x-intercept or they are also called in this case they are the vertices. So the vertices of the hyperbola are plus or minus 3 comma 0. So let us plot that. So let me use a darker color blue. So you got one vertex sitting here. And other vertexes would be here. So your parabola, sorry, your hyperbola would be uh, from this asymptote approaching this asymptote, it will hit the vertex and go like this. So I've got still some work to do, so uh, let me get a thinner pen, okay? I, I think this is better. So let me use a different color. Okay, this blue would be good. Oh, or let me take purple. Okay. So I'm going to draw the hyperbola, one branch, infinity, uh, approaching the asymptote. And here we go. So this is one branch, and the other branch would look like this. Okay, so this is only a sketch. Okay, now we have to figure out the fo uh, focus, and as we have seen, this is the transverse axis, so the focus would be on uh, one side of the focus, sorry, the vertex. So, let us, so okay, now does this have a y-intercept? Okay, so let us. Of course, the graph tells me that it is, there is no y-intercept, but let us understand the logic. Y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. So if you set x is equal to 0, so let me write the equation x squared over 9 minus y squared over 4 is equal to 1 is the equation. So when you set x is equal to 0, this becomes 0. So that's you've got minus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. So we can say minus y squared is equal to 4 and you're multiplying both sides with negative 1 so that's y squared is equal to negative 4. Now you have to use a logic here. Whatever the value of y, is it ever possible that y squared can become negative? No, because we know that if you square any number, y is positive or negative, it will be a positive number or 0. So there is no y-intercept or this is not possible this equation 
doesn't make sense in real numbers, so not possible, which implies no y intercept. Okay, now we now to, we now need to figure out what what is what is the no y intercept. So the last step is to find out the focus or the focal length. Okay, the four psi. So what do we know? Okay, let this let me go back. Yeah, the formula is c squared is a squared plus b squared. Okay, so where are we? So let me scroll down. So, so c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, and uh, we know a squared is nine and b squared is four. This is already given. So that is 9 plus 4 is 13, c squared is 13, so c is square root of 13, okay, which is, you can check it on the calculator, that is 3.6 in 1 dp. So how will you plot the focus or the force r? Now the focus is on the transverse axis and that is that much away from the center. So this is your center, you have to go 3.6 to the right and left, as same as, if you remember in ellipse, focus is away from the center. So I'll use a different color for the focus, so green is for focus. So this is 0 and you have to go 3.6, so say somewhere here. So this is your one focus and you have to go 3.6 to the other side. So your your focus, this is your F1 and this is your F2. So let us write the coordinate of the focus. So, so the center is, the center is 0, 0. So the focus or the foci, foci is 3.6 to the right. So one point is 3.6 comma 0 and other would be minus 3.6 comma 0. So we're going to check this on the graphic calculator. <coughs> so get the calculators out. So this is the calculator and you go to your conic section menu and you go to conic section and you have to get to the uh, formula of hyperbola. So this is this is the equation of hyperbola, okay? So here, yeah, <coughs> execute. So they're asking you, what is A? A is the denominator of x minus h squared. So A squared is 9, so your A would be 3. Your B squared is 4, so B would be 2. And H and K are 0 here. Yeah. So I'll put 0 and 0 and then draw it. So these are the, so let us check our answer. So first we'll ch check the vertex. That is one is three zero and other is minus three zero. Okay, let me draw it. This all, uh, the x-intercept are the focus, but you can check the x-intercept are the focus. Y-intercept, no, not found, there are no y-intercept draw g sol and asymptote so it will draw the asymptote so this is one asymptote and this is the other asymptote okay uh, let us draw it again and g sol do you have anything more yeah the center and e is the eccentricity eccentricity we will not worry about this now so center is zero zero thank you very much hopefully these videos have been helpful see you in the next